as a nurse, I am considered a important or necessary personnel out here in LA. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's been a mixture of, I think, fear because I do live with family and relatives um, and the reality of being called to, to help at this time um, when we're most needed. So it's kind of balancing that. And I think my isolation looks a little different because it's very like segmented. Like I know I'll isolate for a day and then go work, go to work and then mm -hmm. vice versa. Um, so I've been coping, I think, but music, um, definitely within my own space. So with my family, um, and then in my backyard too, I think has been really important, um, within my bounds to at least get some of that fresh air and be outdoors and kind of be reconnected within my, um, mm -hmm. realm that's been pretty helpful for sure. What's your, what's your work environment been like? Is it, is it extremely chaotic? Are you guys feeling overwhelmed or has that not really hit in LA as much where you're at? Definitely chaotic. I think it's been a lot of pulling together for sure. Um, it's a different level of support at this point, um, but keeping it real, it's, it's pretty scary. Um, it's pretty scary and I think everybody's kind of feeling the same way, especially here in LA. Um, because we've been kind of looking at the trends of New York and other places that have been hit pretty hard. Um, and so it's kind of like holding your breath because you know what's coming and it's kind of like trying to do everything you can to stop it at this point, but then also knowing like it's going to hit, what can I do to make sure it doesn't hit as hard because we're seeing everywhere else in the nation kind of go that way. Um, I do have to say though, I, I am amazed at the level of just coming together that's been happening out here in LA. Um, I personally work at a public health at, at realm within nursing and so it looks a little bit different on my end. Um, I'm not like directly in a hospital setting, but I do know that um, hearing from other colleagues and peers, it's, it's definitely gearing up out here in LA. Um, and I commend everybody that's out there like directly on the front lines. It's, it's getting there for sure. We're holding our breath, but we're coming together while we're doing so. so. Mm -hmm. I have to say I'm proud of the way that despite, I think, national uh, response, which has seemed a little slow from my perspective. <laughs> um, I think from a state perspective, I think we've done a good job of trying to advocate for what we need here. Um, speaking at least for Southern California, Granted, I think there's a lot of pushback and things that need to happen along the way, but I think like testing wise, we're not where we need to be, but I think we're trying to get to where we need to be. Um, response wise, like we had, you know, the, the Mercy ship come out to LA. So I think we're trying to prep ourselves. We're prepping the convention center out here in LA, um, just from a medical standpoint, because like I said, we're trying to offset, you know, the direct hospital patients. Um, but I think that's been helpful and knowing that at least they're they're doing what they can um newsom just recently came out with this call for people that have either you know recently graduated from med school or currently um are retired or in the medical field and i think that speaks a lot um toward this communal like need to respond right now personally like from from the heart i think here in LA especially, and I see it in my family, it's tough. It's tough to be told to stay away from each other. And the cultura especially, um, you know, to, to expect for a Latino family to not be together is like the total opposite of what you would ever ask, right? To not be physically together with somebody and to not um, be tangibly together, I should say. But I think that it's pushed us uh, generationally, I do have to say. I think that like my brother, who's a senior right now in high school, um, it's, it's a different level of like having to come together and making sure that we're taking care of our community and especially like our elders, which is a big deal um, in my household. Um, we rely on each other culturally. We rely on our neighbors and this is a time to do that, but it just looks different than I think what we're used to. Do you have a, a formed opinion on, on how Mexico itself has been handling this? Because I know many have been very critical on, on how it's been handled over there. Oh. Yeah, man, I will tell you that in Mexico, I think it's very similar as far as just the lack of response, the lack of response, and I think the lack of transparency out there. I think people have this false uh, reassurance that 
there's not as many people that are positive, but you have to remember, well, they're not testing everybody. Um, yeah. People may not be symptomatic when they're testing positive. Um, and so I think there's a sense of like false reassurance that it's okay, you know? Um, and I think getting that word out there, especially to the more rural parts of Mexico is gonna take a while. We see to believe, and so not being able to like see these numbers tangibly, especially in Mexico, um, is tough. Um, I think that we'll be more cognizant of the level of just like blessings that we have every single day. Um, this has kind of forced everyone to just take a pause in our life and maybe not, actually not at all at the most, you know, greatest of times or under the best circumstances, but I think that it definitely uh, will give us a sense of just gratitude for each other and for the times that we do have moving forward. I hope it does. Um, and I think it's going to be a lot of unpacking and rebuilding that we're going to have to do after this, for sure. Um, in every sphere, you know, every work, workplace, every part of the world.